Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to discuss about breast. In this video we are going to discuss about anatomy, histology and pathology related to breast. Introduction Breast rests on an anterior chest wall overlying pectoralis major and minor muscle. Superior border is formed by second rib inferior border is formed by sixth rib lateral border is at mid axillary line medial border at edge of sternum the deep margin of breast rest on the fascia of pectoralis major muscle breast tissue often extend into the axilla which is called the tail of spans Each breast has a 15 to 20 sections which are arranged like petals of daisy. They are called lobes. Each lobe has a many smaller structure called lobules. This ends in tiny bulbs and these bulbs can produce milk. The lobes, lobules and bulbs are connected by ducts. These ducts lead to the nipple in the center of areola. Between lobules and ducts, the space is filled with fat. The breast has artery, vein, nerves and lymphatic supply. Lymph drains into axillary, mammary and supraclavicular lymph nodes. This picture shows four quadrant of breast. Each breast has a upper inner, upper outer and lower inner and lower outer quadrant and a central portion containing areola and nipple. Now let's learn about histology. Breast has a two types of epithelial cells, two types of stroma and two main structures. The epithelial cells types the epithelial cell types are luminal cell and myoepithelial cells. Stroma is of two types interlobular stroma and intralobular stroma and the structures involves large ducts and TDLU that is terminal ductal lobular unit. The circle represent TDLU and this is this arrow shows a duct. The stroma in the lobular area is called intralobular stroma and the stroma in between the lobules it is called interlobular stroma. Epithelial cells the mammary glands are modified tubuloalveolar apocrine sweat glands. Two distinct types of cell comprises the epithelial bilayer. Luminal cuboidal cells form the inner portion and line the luciferous ducts. These are the luminal cells. And the outer portion of bilayer is constituted by myoepithelial cells. These are spindle shaped cells. They have smooth muscle cell properties and precipitate in the process of milk ejection during lactation. Now let's learn about immunohistochemistry which is very important in cases of breast malignancies. Antibodies against estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors and human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 are useful in management of breast carcinoma. Myopithelial antigens are A, SMA, myosin, Calponin, P63, CD10 and S100. Luminal antigens are cytokeratin 7, 8, 18 and 19. CK8 and E. cadrine are especially useful for distinguishing between ductal and lobular carcinomas. Although CK8 is positive for both, it usually stains the peripheral cytoplasm in ductal carcinoma while it has a perinuclear staining pattern in lobular carcinoma. 
the e cadherin antigen is mainly expressed in ductal carcinomas and is absent in lobular ones other tissue in the breasts are adipose tissue and fibroblast the adipose component of mammary gland forms a large portion of breasts stromal fat pad adipose tissue is abundant in interlobular spaces while it's present in the intralobular stroma is scarce fibroblasts are also a important component for mammary stroma now let's learn some physical characteristics of breast pathology physical examination is very important to suspect some diagnosis like mastitis it is inflammation of breast tissue on physical examination you can feel warm or hot skin tenderness can be present the breast will be firm swelling may be present low or high grade fever may be present and if any fluctuation is present then it suggests abscess formation fibroadenoma it is non cancerous breast lump that usually occurs in a young woman between 15 to 35 years of age the lump is firm feels smooth and moves under the skin it is usually painless round has a distinct and smooth borders and feel firm or rubbery also called as breast mouse most important to suspect carcinoma breast or any cancer related to breast on physical examination always check for presence of lump pseudo orange appearance skin changes inverted nipple or bleeding from the nipple let's see physiological changes in the lactational state there are few changes occur they are physiological not pathological dilated glands are observed increase number of lobules lumen cells will enlarge with vacuolated cytoplasm and hobnailing can be seen the second is benign lesions few benign lesions are apocrine metaplasia columnar cell change epithelial hyperplasia duct ectasia fibrocystic change sclerosing adenosis benign ductal papilloma mastitis third stromal lesions mainly fibroadenoma and phyllodes fibroadenoma most common benign tumor of breast it usually present as a palpable painless lump in premenopausal young woman grossly it is firm well circumscribed ovoid mass with bosulated surface lobulation bulge above the cut surface is seen and slit like spaces are seen on cut surface microscopically it is well circumscribed lesion with predominantly pericalariculer growth patterns and hypercellular stroma it is accompanied by intraductal epithelial hyperplasia phyllod tumor it is characterized into benign borderline and malignant it is usually seen in perimenopausal women microscopically seen as biphasic fibroepithelial tumors composed of epithelial elements arranged in a cleft like ducts surrounded by predominant connective tissue stroma typically organized in the leaf like structure in the malignant phyllod tumor aggressive pathological features are seen they include grade stromal overgrowth infiltrative borders marked stromal overgrowth stromal atypia marked stromal cellularity high mitotic count 
सुडो एंजियोमेटस स्ट्रोमल हाइपरप्लेजिया हिट्रोलोगस स्ट्रोमल एलिमेंट्स फाइब्रोप्रोलिफ्रेशन इन सराउंडिंग ब्रेस्ट टिश्यू एंड ट्यूमर नेक्रोसिस फोर्थ इज मैलिग्नेंट लीजेंस दे इंक्लूड ए टिपिकल डक्टल हाइपरप्लेजिया विच मे कन्वर्ट इन टू डक्टल कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू विच मे कन्वर्ट इन टू डक्टल कार्सिनोमा देन ए टिपिकल लोबुलर हाइपरप्लेजिया लोबुलर कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू लोबुलर कार्सिनोमा एंड पैपिलरी कार्सिनोमा द मॉलिकुलर सबटाइपिंग ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कार्सिनोमा इज यूजफुल फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्रोग्नोसिस इफ द ब्रेस्ट कैंसर शोज ई आर पी आर पॉजिटिविटी एंड हर टू पॉजिटिविटी और हर टू नेगेटिविटी देन इट शोज गुड प्रोग्नोसिस बट इफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर शोज ई आर पी आर नेगेटिव देन इट शोज पुअर प्रोग्नोसिस अदर लीजेंस ऑफ ब्रेस्ट इंक्लूड मैमरी हमार्टोमा कोलेजनस फेरुलोसिस नीपल एडिनोमा इंट्राडक्टल पैपिलोमा लिम्फोसिटिक ग्रेन्युलोमेटस एक्यूट मास्टाइटिस माइक्रो ग्रेन्युलर एडिनोसिस एडिनो मायो एपिथिलियोमा मैमरी फाइब्रोब्लास्टोमा ग्रेन्युलर सेल ट्यूमर सो दिस इज इन शॉर्ट अबाउट ब्रेस्ट होप यू लाइक इट एंड दिस आर द रेफरेंसेज फॉर दिस वीडियो Thank you see you in the next video bye